Hello and welcome. You're listening to University Radio Nottingham. You're listening to Off the Beaten Track. You're listening to Student Improv Nottingham. Whooping, please. Woo! All right, we've got some games for you today, but first I shall introduce you to our contestants. I shall point. Hi, I'm Gabby. I am Hugh. I'm Will. I'm Becky. I'm in charge now. It's a new regime. <laughs> the tyranny of Rebecca Ellis is gone. And she will be getting many minus points for it. <laughs> Just saying, she's not going to win. Other guys, <laughs> you've got a fair chance. We also have a wonderful live studio audience in the uh, shape of Mr. Ben Hollands. Whee! Yeah, he's going to be whooping, cheering, clapping, taking his clothes off at bits he likes. <laughs> It'll be grand. Right, we are going to begin with a game of change. It's a pretty simple game. Two people are going to be doing a scene. When I hear something I don't like, I shall say change. So, Becky, if you'd just like to start talking. Hi, Tim. Change. Bye, Tim. Change. Go away, Tim. Change. I don't like you, Tim. It's all happening here. <laughs> so, we shall start with a scene between William and Becky. Ready? Begin. Don't we need a suggestion from Sam? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Tim, you have so much to learn. I'm very, I'm very drunk. Samuel, would you like to suggest something? Crumpets. Crumpets? <laughs> have a bang on that. <laughs> I'm afraid the crumpets have gone off. You'll have to order something else for your breakfast. <laughs> but I wanted crumpets. That's, that's what I've asked for. Well, unfortunately, here in Her Majesty's Residence, you don't get to choose what you have for breakfast. Fine. Um, well, where's the menu? Change. Well, where's the staff? Change. Well, where's the Queen? She's right here. She's currently inspecting the prisons. Hello, I'm Her Majesty. Can I help you? Change. Hello, I'm Her Majesty. You're a prisoner. Get out of my sight. Change. Hello, I'm Her Majesty. And I suffer from split personality disorder. I'm also the guard. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, but that doesn't excuse you from not getting my crumpets. I want crumpets. Change. Well, I want toast. Change. I want tea. Change. I want a hula hoop. Change. I want a trampoline. Change. I want peace for all nations. Good sentiment. One more refer this to the Commonwealth. One moment, please. Commonwealth. Yeah, the Commonwealth said no. <laughs> Change. <laughs> One more refer this to the United Nations. I'll be back in a minute. The United Nations said yes. So I'll get peace? Well, apparently, but I don't know. I'm really cause I'm sort of losing, sort of losing. Uh, sorry, shut sorry. up, shut up, Elizabeth. Shut up, shut up, shut up. And okay. we'll leave it there. <laughs> Peace for all mankind and a deeply mentally ill queen. <laughs> right, okay, we're going to need another suggestion so Hugh and Gabby can do one. I'm working on a breakfast, breakfast theme today. So I'm going to go with jam. Jam, jam today, jam tomorrow, jam all over your radio. Go. This traffic jam is awful. Oh, I know. It's so boring. I mean, it's really hard to spread on toast. You can't do anything Change. with it. It's really easy to spread on toast. It's like a dream. Change. Oh, it's, I can't spread it on this dog. He keeps barking. <laughs> maybe you should do it on the cat instead. Change. Well, maybe you should do it on the pig we have outside. Change. Maybe you should do it on yourself. Change. Maybe you should do it on the cow that's next door. That'll do. Yeah, I'll go fetch the cow. He's he's a, 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 oh, he's a heavy one. Oh, oh, oh. I, oh, oh. Let me Cha hold change point. sound effect. <laughs> change. Why is this cow? Meow. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> poor cow seems to have <laughs> some um, I think, I think deficiency he, with I, speaking. I think he needs he needs milking because otherwise he's just going to meow all, all night. So I'd change. He's going to woof like a cat all night. Unless we milk him or unless we spread jam on him? Both. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should do the milking and you can do the jamming. Okay. And we'll end it there. <laughs> I think that counts as animal cruelty, Sam. <laughs> Verdict, spreading jam on a cat and then milking it. Can you milk a cat? It was a cow. A cow that sounded oh, like a cat. Get the animal right, Tim. I, Jeez. I, I am in the wrong here. Oh, wow. It's good. <laughs> Righty-ho. <laughs> one of the rare shows where the one with the least points is the host. Oh, certainly. Certainly. <laughs> Uh, minus three points to Becky. <laughs> uh, oh! <laughs> what's that, Becky? You've got you've got a complaint. Just turn the mic down. Right. <laughs> we're now going to play two-headed debate. I think we'll keep the teams because it's boy girl boy girl, and with nothing if not deeply traditional here on URN. <laughs> uh, so we will start with uh, Gabby and Hugh, and you will be debating for a thing. We don't know what that thing is yet. We're free form. Ben. Yes. I need <laughs> a topic from you. Nothing, nothing too controversial. Nothing too controversial. Um, going with the breakfast theme. 
Come damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How should one's eggs be prepared? How should <laughs> one's eggs be prepared? So, you shall have one opinion, they shall have another. You shall speak one word in turn, any more, and I shall throw this book at you. Begin. When my cat likes or <laughs> eats eggs in his bowl, we always put soda water on them. And he really, really, really likes to drink the soda water from the eggs. <laughs> interesting, interesting. We're not we're not judgmental here on your end, but that's weird. <laughs> Moving over. Our cat doesn't like X because we raised him vegan. Ooh, interesting. Health problems for the cat, perhaps. Throwing back to the other team. Well a cat that is vegan does not really have any protein. So he should die. Oh, <laughs> controversial hour here on URN. The cat should die because it has no protein. Rebuttal. However, if the cat dies, then it can't complain. <laughs> True. That means your point is moot. <laughs> moot, sir. Moot. How, how do you respond? Eggs don't belong inside a cat. Well, they actually do. <laughs> the debate has become self-aware. I no, I no longer have any control over it. We'll show through our final remarks. <clears throat> Becky and Will. Cats have no problem with a vegan lifestyle. Oh. Cats do have a problem with a vegan lifestyle. Oh, it's it's pretty damning evidence here. <laughs> here at your end towers. I think I'm gonna give the points to Gabby and you for uh, for Verve, and also because Becky's on the other team. <laughs> so that's oh. all right, t t Tim. No, I don't, no, we'll, I don't, I don't need to win. It's improv. Wrong. Yeah, well, and oh. you know, you take part in improv. Well, then it why are you, you weeping win. in the corner during the? Oh, because you're mean. Exactly. Right. <laughs> We're going to have a song here, but before that, we're going to... Oh, careful. Careful on the button, Sam. I see you dashing in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to prepare for our game, next game. It's called Commercial Break. I would like uh, two words from each team for the other team, and based on those words, they shall create an infomercial. Selling anything. It doesn't have to be specifically those words, but it has to involve them. So, I need two words from Becky and Will for Hugh and Gabby. Leopard. Biscuit. Leopard biscuit. And for them? Uh, tyranny. Waistcoat. Leopard biscuit <laughs> and tyranny waistcoat. Right, we're going to have a song now. I'm not sure what song it's going to be. It's going to be Breath of Life by Florence and the Machine. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> we'll be back after this. We are back. Hope you enjoyed that song. I certainly didn't. Right. <laughs> No, I'm not a fan. Is there all right? What? Florence is great. It's Gabby, brilliant. do you want your points or not? <laughs> okay. Right, uh, just before the break, uh, we had two uh, uh, pitches for commercial ideas. The first one was Tyranny Waistcoat. That's for Becky and Will. And also Leopard Biscuit for Hugh and Gabby. So we will begin with Becky and Will. Rock your socks off. We'll be right back on our documentary on moustaches through the dictator ages. After this infomercial. Welcome to the Brutality Shopping Channel. Selling like hotcakes today, we have these new tyrannical waistcoats. Now, Becky, when you go into the United Nations for a war crime, do you wish that you could do so in style? I, d I do, Will, and I feel like there's always something missing when I'm marching there. They're always looking down at me, and I think, hey, if only I had a waistcoat. Yeah, because all the other dictators, they've got those three-foot-tall fur hats, and they've got, like, shoes made of solid gold and everything. Here, we've got this wonderful, wonderful waistcoat made, made out of gold seaming Ooh. and satin and... Well, let me try that on. Oh, 
Oh, it fits. You know it's quality because 17 orphans from your own country died to create it. Well, that's fantastic. It's like I'm I'm wearing a bit of home. Yes, that's exactly what you are because you are home. You are the state. And for just $14.99, you can get one of these fantastic waistcoats in the post. Order now. And what would, what would you get, Will? Well, you get a jail, get out of jail free card for the Geneva Convention. Tyranny! 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 Yay! So, yes. If you want to, if you want to brutalise your populace in style and be killed in the Arab Spring and look good doing it. And boy, do I. Then order one of these waistcoats. I'll be getting out my phone catalogue today and ordering a tyranny waistcoat. <laughs> okay, dokie. Uh, right, we're moving on to our second infomercial. You've got to beat that, guys. It was a pretty strong effort. <laughs> a pretty brutalistly strong effort. Uh, leopard Biscuit. Have you ever wondered why your pet leopard's teeth are hurting? Yes, I have. Well, we've got just the solution for you. What's that? They are the new and amazing leopard rusks. Leopard rusks? How do they work? Well, if your leopard chews on a rusk every day, you'll notice the difference in a week. Their teething will become less painful and they will not scratch your face off anymore. Less painful teething and no face scratching? Brilliant! I know, I hear you say, but where do these come from, these leopard rusks? I didn't say that, but I'll say it now. Where do these come from, those leopard rusks? Well, let me tell you. From Leopard World! Leopard World? Where's that? Ah, Leopard World is located on 44 Leopard Street. 44 Leopard Street. The street of dreams. My leopard likes them. And yours can too for the low low pre- Sorry. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I think I'm going to give equal points uh, to both the teams because they were <laughs> they were great in different ways. Minus four points to Becky. <laughs> <laughs> great. We're going to move. Oh, what's that? A tear, a single salt tear no, running no down tears. the cheek no tears. of failure. No. Okay. It's just I've got four weeks of radio shows after this. Oh dear. <laughs> Righty ho. Right, we're now going to play a game called Move On and Keep. I think I'm going to mix the teams. I think I'm going to mix the teams. Controversial. Women swap. Da 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 da. The women are swapping. Gabby ain't moving. It's quite confusing. It's 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 U R N. We're now going to play a game called Move. I could do jingles. <laughs> Um, we're going to do a game <laughs> called uh, Move On and Keep. Each team shall start a scene. When I hear something I like or just want them to stop talking, I shall say move on and keep a certain facet of that scene. We'll transfer over to the other team and they shall continue a scene on that. Right, so, Samuel. Breakfast theme. No. <laughs> I'm vetoing the breakfast theme. But I like the breakfast theme. Aww. That's why you've put on so much weight recently. <laughs> Boom! Oh. He's not. He's felt. He's lovely. I touch his chest. We love you, Sam. We love you, Sam. Don't turn my mic down. (laughs) Right, we need a a, a suggestion from you, Samuel. Uh, Revision. Oh, revision. Oh, I forgot to do it. I forgot to mention this is the exam special. We haven't been (laughs) heavily majoring on that because I. I, It's the breakfast special. I'm changing. I'm riddling the quiz. It's the breakfast special. (laughs) Don't you look at me with those eyes, Becky. I'm I'm a professional broadcaster. I've forgotten the suggestion. I can t- oh, yes, professional. <laughs> it was revision. The revision. suggestion is revision. William and Gabby, begin. Did you actually revise for your Viva Voce? Um, well, you know, I mean, I just looked over a few bits here and there. Looked right. at the pictures. They were good pictures. But you, I, I asked you what Jesus' first miracle was, and you said felt. <laughs> Move on and keep felt. <laughs> Felt, felt is so soft, don't you think, Becky? I know. I I I felt the felt. <laughs> Move on and Jeff. keep really terrible wordplay. Mm. <laughs> Something to do with licorice. <laughs> Move on and keep failure. <laughs> Oh, all my exams, I've failed all of them. I've got Fs all and fa- whatever, whatever mark you get in university, I, I've got the, the worst one. Hey, turn that frown upside down. You can always take media studies. <laughs> oh. Move on. Move on and keep wasting, wasting your time. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, I suppose doing a philosophy degree doesn't really help you, does it? No, I mean, I now know about 14 different ways a tree can make a sound in a forest, but I still can't add.